So I'm here with Paddy Tyler at the AutoQ stand here at BVE. Uh, Paddy's going to give us an overview of some of the things they're showing and, and then talk about some of the server products and other items of interest. Paddy, what are you showing here at BVE? So we've got um, a sort of cross-section of our product range, yep. um, starting with the, the starter series teleprompters, which are a sort of introductory low-cost teleprompter range, uh, running through to our broadcast monitor series. And then this uh, corner of the stand is a sort of complete new studio automation area where we're running through um, all the different elements that you need for a complete production setup. So obviously you're well known for your AutoQ products and your prompters. Yep. Um, you had to say you mentioned the service solutions here. So, who are these targeted at? Who would be interested in these these solutions? Okay, so it's, it's a classic thing. Whenever I said you auto queue, yeah. people immediately think teleprompters. Yeah. Well, actually, um, we've had a, a range of products for a long time. So, these newsroom solutions are 20, 20 plus years old, and yeah. um, we've had video service for five years, automation, MAM, scripting, um, archive, a whole complete um, production solution. Yeah. And one of the unique things that we have is the end-to-end -end workflow. So. We're very popular with small TV stations, uh, live production, studio applications, university, education customers that are looking for a one vendor solution that has multiple facets to it. So all the way from the studio ingest um, to the automation, the MAM, simple editing based in the newsroom, these are the right scripts to bring information in from uh, wire feeds, web services, uh, to control CG. We've got CG built into the video service, so lower third um, crawls, clock yeah. figures. Um, links to VTRs, um, DEX. We can control the whole spectrum of devices through the automation system. So from a small broadcast perspective, every element, with the exception maybe of the craft editor, you know, the Avid or the Adobe yeah. or the Final Cut system, every element of that production can be an auto queue product. Right. Um, and we can take that a step further. So one of the things the local TV uh, market has found very useful in the US, and obviously we've got a, a new local TV model that's being applied in the UK, um, one of the things they find very useful is the links to the automation from the teleprompting operation. So typically, when you have an automation set up, you can either have a semi-automated system yep. or a completely automated system. And within that, you would then either set a schedule, fire at events off, and all the video clips would play, yep. or you can have play, stop, play, stop, play, stop. Yep. And that would be then controlled by someone in the gallery. What our systems allow you to do is using the teleprompting operation and the speed of the scroll, you can set your automation events, so your video clips, your graphics, your audio can be fired by a trigger point in the script, yeah. which means that then the presenter is using a foot controller or a hand controller, yeah. they can pause, delay, or stop the prompting, and therefore stop all the other news. So if you've got a breaking news story, yeah. one button can switch from your standard running order and your teleprompting output to the new breaking news, and all the other video clips and audio clips and graphics you expected to, to occur will stop as well. No other new system has that capability. So it greatly reduces the number of people that are required yeah. to deliver news, therefore making a much more commercially viable application. Sounds like an amazing system. And just to be able to hand the control over to uh, the presenter to go at their pace and their speed. And as you say, when other uh, events come in, they can, they can pause, the, uh, pause the process. Um, if people want to find out information about, obviously, there's the, the prompted, but these servers as well, I'm assuming there's the website that they can go to and have a look at. Yep, absolutely. Uh, website's www.autoq.com. Um, and if you go to the broadcast solution section, you'll see details of all these products. Paddy, thank you very much. I uh, highly recommend, again, that you go and have a look at the AutoQ website, find out information about, obviously, their prompters and their server solutions. Uh, I think you'll find the way it all integrates is, is pretty amazing. We've done a lot of videos here at BVE uh, in London. You can find all those at broadcastshow.com.